Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, today I want to talk about an iPhone case. This is the Kadabi Sheath, and this has been my go-to case for my iPhone XS Max. You know, I figured, you know, we're in January, you know, people, maybe they uh, purchase new phones over the holiday break, um, and you're looking for a case. So what, what case should you consider? So I have about four or five cases that I've purchased so far, maybe six or seven, I have a little bit of a problem, but, um, but we're going to talk about each of them. So, and I will say this, I'm leading with the Kadabi sheath because this is the one that I continue to return back to. I love this case. Um, and I'll explain why. Um, but before I do that, I want to talk about kind of the ways that I'm going to um, measure or rate each of these cases. And really I'm looking at four categories, um, protection, fit, style, and toughness. So we'll talk about each of those here in a second. Um, and, and really talk about, you know, how do those, um, how does the sheath do in each of those categories? Before I do that, I do want to look up on the website here and talk a little bit about this product. So number one, um, you can't buy the sheath on Amazon. Um, it's actually taken me a while to order this. I heard about the sheath a couple years ago and I just hadn't ordered it up to this point because I typically like to order my phone cases on Amazon because I can get them much quicker. A lot of times they're, they're cheaper on Amazon. Um, but you can't get the sheath. So I, you know, I've been hesitant to order it from Kadabi itself, Kadabi.com. Uh, but I finally took the step and, uh, and did so over the break and, and definitely don't regret it. So right now you can get it for the 10s max for $25 on their website. They're actually offering a 19% discount. So there's, they'll roll out discounts every now and then. So, um, typically you don't even have to pay that much. It does come in multiple colors. It comes in a, a black, a Navy, camo green and an ultraviolet right now the ultraviolet is sold out i've got the black version um i kind of prefer this color i have the uh um, i have the black iphone so it kind of it fits better and i think it goes with kind of the overall look of, of, of the phone there so um that's a little bit about the um about the sheath the other thing is just to kind of read the description here it says the perfect blend of minimalism and shock absorption, an exquisitely slim iPhone XS Max case manufactured from shock light, a soft gel-like flexible polymer with excellent shock absorption, provides cushion from everyday drops and tumbles while maintaining the slim profile of your iPhone XS Max and it's drop tested to two meters or 6.6 .6 feet. And I think that's, that's important to me because <clears throat> I'm about six foot tall, um, <clears throat> right at six foot tall. And so I don't expect to, to drop my phone from a higher height than the top of my head. I mean, it's rare that I'm holding my phone above my head. Um, and so I think, you know, having something that's drop tested to six feet or a little bit over six feet uh, works perfect. You know, I'll, I'll probably more than likely drop something from my waist. Um, I haven't dropped it yet, um, but you know, in all likelihood, it'll be less than six foot. So within that drop protection window. So that works um, just fine for me. And so that kind of gets to the, um, the first category here that I talked about is um, protection, you know, so I'm going to give this and, you know, this is the first one I'm doing. So we'll, we'll kind of tighten these up over time. But if I'm, I'm going to do like a one to ten scale here, um, I'm going to give this about a I'm going to say a six uh, in terms of protection. This is definitely not a tough case. Um, it's this is a pretty thin case. It's 0.9 millimeters thin. Um, there are cases that are even thinner. There's some that 0.3 millimeters that are made by companies like Peel or um, Total Lee make some super thin cases. Those are really just for scratch protection and really aren't, they don't provide any drop protection hardly at all. This one at least, I think, you know, because it's a little bit thicker and because it is rubber, and I'll take it off here, really easy to take off and put on, which is nice, but it does have a nice um, tight fit, tight fit. But because it is that rubber and it is just a little bit thicker, <clears throat> um, it does provide a little bit more protection. So I'll do, you know, I'm gonna do a six on this. Um, they claim it's tested up to six feet. I can't find any videos of people dropping this case. I'm not gonna drop this, drop, drop my phone in this case. So I'll trust them for now and hope to not drop and, and hope to not drop my phone and you know ultimately um, have to have to test that out. So. Um, so from a protection standpoint, I give it a six. From a fit, as I said before, it fits nice and snug. Um, it's, it's super grippy. Um, I like that aspect of it. There is a, um, <clears throat> there's a textured backing that goes around the side that kind of makes it, you know, add some grip to it. So I'm gonna give fit, um, I'm gonna give that a, uh, I'm gonna give that a nine. You know, I mean, you know, I will say this, the sides, you can pull the sides out, it is rubber. 
so you can pull the sides out a little bit but in normal day-to-day -day use you don't know it doesn't feel loose at all i've had some cases that are tpu rubber that just feel loose on the phone this feels nice and tight on the phone so um i'm gonna give this a actually you know i'm gonna i'm gonna give this a 10. it does awesome in the fit category style you know style is somewhat subjective um i'm gonna give this a 10 in style as well i said this was my favorite case so i don't have any problem in giving it a 10 there um, i like it for a couple reasons i love the thinness this is the closest case that i feel adds protection but but um but minimalizes the case aspect to where i feel almost feel like somebody's calling me there to where i almost feel like i don't have um <clears throat> a case on my phone so for that reason and that reason alone i'm going to give it a 10. i do also like the style you know it has a neat you know pretty simple look to it the branding's not too prominent on the case and it does have that textured pattern which is nice it's got the raised bump around the camera and the raised lip around the front so that um <clears throat> So that you can you know when you're setting it down either on its face or on its back you're still protecting um, those parts of the camera so fit uh, so style it gets it gets a 10. toughness does it stand up to uh to use so that's kind of what toughness is all about um i've been using this case for probably four or five weeks now uh, actually probably more than that probably six weeks and i haven't noticed any kind of marks or scratches um, you know, I've, I've gotten it dirty a couple times and I just wipe it off with a wet towel, um, and it cleans up just fine. So, you know, I mean, it could probably be tougher, I'm guessing. So I'm not going to give it a 10 there. I'll give it an eight in toughness, but you know, all around, you know, it's going to excel in every category. Um, I would say it's not a tough case, so it's not going to score as high in terms of protection. So, um, that's kind of how that, that works there. So anyways, it's got, you know, all your, your cutout for your mute rocker. The buttons are very clicky. Um, it's got cutouts at the bottom for your speaker grills and the, um, uh, and the power and the charging port. Um, so everything works, you know, perfectly. The, the cutout for the camera lines up really nice. Um, so yeah, could I be sheath? Uh, if you're questioning whether you should order this phone or not, I would definitely recommend that you can order the Kadabi sheath. You will be satisfied with your order. Obviously, this is personal um, opinion here, um, but if you know, but you know, I would say that I would recommend it. You know, and so uh, if you do order, I hope you like it. And let me know in the comments down below. So uh, just just so you know, I'm going to do more of these videos here featuring phone cases. Next up, I'm going to have the Rhino Shield mod. Uh, an X case with a back plate on it. This is a cool camo pattern here. And so we're going to talk about, you know, what is the, uh, what is this case like? Um, what kind of protection does it provide? And we'll also, we'll do a comparison against the sheath. Um, and how does it compare in terms of thinness, in terms of feel, um, all those types of things. So, um, that's something you want to see. Give me a thumbs up. Also, if there are other cases that you'd like for me to review, definitely put put those uh list those down in the comments below and i will take a look at them so um great that was about it quick video today um hope you enjoyed it and uh i will see you on the next one thanks peace